Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Very well, thank you. I'm so excited to speak with you today. I love the show. Congrats on the show. I love the first book, Ravia, but this one, I just loved it. You know, I'm a big uh, Jillian Fellows fan, nerd, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and whenever I see a show with his name on it, I'm like, okay, I don't need to know anything else. I will be watching, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I want so nice to watch it. I'm so oh, glad yeah. that you enjoyed it. Thank you. Yeah, I, I really did. And you know, I want to watch them a certain way. I got a little routine, like I want to watch them, I want to drink tea, I want to have less scones or something like that, you know? Are you also like a fan of Downton Abbey and the Gilded Age and of course the first Bell Drive? Yeah, and what would be the perfect way for you to enjoy your age, Julian Fellows show? Yes, I am also a massive fan. I watched Downton Abbey when it very first came out. I can't remember what year it was, but I think I was a teenager when it came out. And I watched it with my family. It was back in the day when things came out weekly. Yeah. Uh, which I feel like just doesn't happen that much anymore and I actually kind of miss it which I was really glad that this show was airing like that because I think sometimes it's nice to have to wait for the next episode because it gets you excited about it rather than just binging yeah. the whole thing um yeah so I was I was a huge Downton Abbey fan I actually haven't seen the Gilded Age um yet but I did <laughs> love season one of Belgravia so I was so excited to be part of season two um, you know what, if, so because you're a Downton Abbey fan, I felt like the whole show watching Belgrava season two, I was like, you know what, Clara would be such a good friend with uh, Lady Sybil. Yes, she right? would. She would be an excellent friend with Lady Sybil. And I was devastated when Lady Sybil died. <laughs> I'll never get over it. How <laughs> dare they kill her off? Worst death in the entire TV history. I it was terrible. She was my favorite, but I feel like you two have like such free spirits and like you you're obviously part of and and very rich families and all. But like needing to go out, needing to see the world and all. Yeah, totally. I think she she kind of feels a little bit stifled when she enters that world because it, it is so different to the world that she's come from. And I think she's so she wants to fit in and she wants to please everyone and, and not let Frederick down. But at the same time, she feels a little bit caged. Like she can't go anywhere alone. She can't even go out for a walk without her lady's maid following her and <laughs> almost reporting back to her husband <laughs> what she got up to that day. And I think she's she's got an adventurous spirit. And I think she, that doesn't really suit her well being no. refined and, and caged and in that way. I feel like Clara and maybe Frederick might benefit from that as well. I feel like he would kind of need to see the world at the end of the show. They say they're going to travel and it's amazing. But I feel like she should absolutely continue seeing friends from like different social classes, you know, because, the, you know, people who have things to talk about, not just the latest gossips in town. Uh, and I feel like she was so radiant and she's so happy when she was hanging with the doctor and her and his friends and, and the artists. She was so happy. Do you do you know what their future might look like? Like if she's gonna keep on going and 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 being friends with people who might not necessarily be friends in in her world yeah i hope that he just loosens up a little bit which i think <laughs> i think by the end of the season he he has like he 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 changes quite a lot like it's that scene where we see him in the kit down in the kitchen and he's wearing like a jumper or something and he he looks so different to the frederick that we've known for the whole yes. series um so i think i think they they influence each other in many many ways but I, I i agree i really hope that they can travel see the world and then come back and just live their own lives mm -hmm. based on what they want to do rather than what everyone else wants them to do and 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 you know policing themselves for fear of their reputation being ruined or what people will say or which i think clara really really struggles with when she first yeah. enters that world um you know, I love how, especially in a pure drama, I'm a massive pure drama fan and anything pure drama, I will watch, you know, so I love the sets, I love the costumes and I love the green dress that you wore uh, in episode four, five. It's, it, it was gorgeous, like not, not green, like turquoise, bluish kind of yeah. during the scene. 
It was beautiful. And I love how you can literally see the shift in her confidence at this moment, like, and how she carries herself and, and rightly so. I mean, you looked, you looked amazing in that dress, but I'm curious to know if you also feel that shift, um, thanks to the dress, not just because of the script, but because at some point they, they, they wanted to get you a pink, more girly. I don't really like this word, but like maybe more um, little girl style of dress. And you chose, Clara chose the, the, the green one. And there's such a shift in the energy at this moment. Did you feel that as well? 100%. I love that you noticed that because that was a very deliberate choice by our costume designer, Phoebe DeGay. She's amazing. And I remember her having that conversation with me before we even started shooting. She was saying throughout the series, the costumes are going to change as Clara changes. Um, mm -hmm. So they start off, she starts off wearing kind of pastel colors and it is all very pretty and neat and then that moment I feel is a big it's a big shift she goes not just the color like the color changes but the shape of it changes as well she goes from being quite covered up to she wears a she wears straps they're like, right, this. Right. like oh my god she has her shoulders out shoulders out That's right not done and it's quite low cut as well and so I think yeah. that moment where she comes down the stairs and she's sort of revealing this new this new side of her it's almost like a it's almost like she's she's staring him in the eye and she's saying this is who i am this is what you're missing out on yeah <laughs> come back or else i'm gonna fly that's like her revenge dress you know yes a hundred percent it's definitely like the 80s 60s kind of revenge dress absolutely the, the same the same scene when you get down and you're wearing the dress and there's this old man who um makes a, a very patronizing uh, uh, note to his wife because she's not wearing the, the same kind of dress and she feels like humiliated. And it's just like two seconds, but I love how Clara looks at her directly. And, and there's such, such a strong empathy in the way she looks at her. And then she's like, she can't see anything, but she's like, I got you girl. Like, yeah. he should not have said that. What an asshole. <laughs> but yeah. uh, I, I I love how these little indications really uh, inform us. If if we watch this show and we watch how you look at her and how, you know, when someone's going to have a trembling chin because they're about to cry, I'm assuming it's not necessarily written black on white on the script, but I love how it just like informs you and you just have to pay attention to, to these little details. That's for me, that's what makes a, a character strong and remarkable. And I was wondering how that informs you and helps you bring your your Clara out of your uh, of yourself as well. You know. Yeah, I think yeah, exactly. And like you said, it was the eighteen. I think it's eighteen seventy, maybe or seventy one when it's set. Yeah, yeah exactly. And but so you like you couldn't say really a lot of the things that we would just say nowadays, um, especially as women. Um, because they were very much, I mean, they were put in corsets to, you know, control them yeah. <laughs> and cage yeah. them. Um, yeah, yeah you, they definitely weren't as free na then as, as we are now. Not that we're completely free now, but um, there's a lot more freedom now um, than they had back then. And so I think you're right. A lot of, a lot of what is said is said without words. Um, which I think makes for great drama. I think a lot of the time what I love to watch is the, the silent stuff. It's what's not said. It's what you see in people's yeah. looks to each other. Um, and as an actor as well, I think that's what really excites me. If you get a scene that has a lot of subtext and there's a lot yeah. underneath what's being said, um, yeah. it's almost like cracking a code going through a scene like that and working out, okay, they said that, but what exactly did they mean? I love that. That really excites me as an actor. And I think there was a lot of that in this show, which is why I just think Helen Edmondson is such an amazing writer. Because for, mm. for us actors, there was so much for us to get our teeth into. Um, mm. Yeah, and, and really get excited about. Yeah, and it, especially what you just said, especially Frederick, who is always in such restraint and never like really shows his true feelings. He's always like on the verge of tears whenever he fights with Clara. He's always like he's got tears in his eyes. He's got a trembling chin. And I'm like, mm -hmm. you, you really have to pay attention to these characters and how they what they do with their faces, because he's not going to say anything. But you just have to pay attention to the eyes and the trembling chin, because he's really affected by these constant fights. Totally. I think I know the bit that you're talking about. Ben is so good in that scene. That was such a fun scene to film. Really challenging, but so much fun. 
Um, he was amazing to act with. He's such a great scene partner. We got on so well from day one. I was yeah. like, yeah, this is going to be a really fun job. He's he's so unlike Frederick in real life. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, he's so silly <laughs> and funny. And we just had so much fun on the job, which I think was kind of essential because there's scenes like that that are really intense where we're yelling at each other and fight, we fight for so much of the show. I think it would have been kind of exhausting if we hadn't have been able to just have a silly time in between. Um, but yeah, I, I think you're right. And I think those moments, those tiny moments are so telling of what's really going on under the yeah. surface, because especially for Frederick, I mean, Clara's quite an open um, person, which is unusual, I guess, for that, that society where everything yeah. is, like you say, very restrained and people can't say what they really mean. And um, yeah. and especially Frederick, he he's very much in his box of the character, the, the role that he should play in this society. Um, and so, yeah, yeah, I think those, those tiny moments show what's really going on for him, which is a lot, he's got a lot going on. And I, I really feel for him and Clara really feels for him as well. He just needs to go to therapy. He would have benefited <laughs> so much from seeing a therapist. <laughs> Do you need therapy? Oh my god, I was telling myself that I was like, their marriage would be so happy if you could just like talk to someone like to a professional. <laughs> he really yeah. needs that. Yeah, but that's yeah, but that scene I was referring to, especially like the breakup scene when when she cries and says, like, you've broken my heart. I felt that to a level. The way you just said that sentence, I was like, oh my god, this is horrible. This is so sad. I know that's what that's the scene that I thought you were talking that's about. The scene, right? Yeah, that was that's oh god, what what a brilliant brilliant scene to be able to play. It's it's so yeah. it's, the stakes were so high in this show. Yeah. I think it really was. It's about it's about such huge themes that I think are universal. It's about love and grief. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and Clara feels everything so deeply. It was it was kind of a joy to be able to express that because how often do you get to just cry <laughs> in real life yeah. you don't yeah. just openly like that and I think for him as well it's it's such a moment of vulnerability for Ben's character um which we don't often see um so that was yeah it was great and I'm really glad you enjoyed it yeah of course I did and um, yeah I agree we need to cry we need to cry we can keep that inside it's just like yeah. it needs, you need to let it out absolutely um but here today it's all the time we had I have to wrap but I am so excited I was so excited to speak with you today and I'm so excited to see you in blood of my blood oh my god thank you so much yeah. it's, like my, it was, like, it's like my really? favorite, favorite um like pure drama show outlander oh my god so when I saw that you were cast I was like oh my god this is amazing <laughs> That is so nice to hear. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so, so glad that you enjoyed the show so much. I had the best yeah. time working on it. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so happy to to hear that. Oh, well, have a great rest of your day or night. I don't know where, where you thank are, you. but thank you so much for joining me today. Bye. Thank Helen. you so much. It was so nice to meet you and lovely talking to you. It was so nice to, to see you. Bye.